We're here on Haywood Road in Mapley. We are a stone throw from West Darlene, which you can see in this direction and in turn, therefore, a 30 to 40 yard walk from the amenities of Plains Road. Obviously, Haywood Road is a popular location. Um, one of the premiums you do get with this property is a driveway um, providing off-road parking. There's also a graveled front garden. There's double doors to a lean-to to the side elevation and we've got an open porch with a feature entrance door with glazed panel leading into the entrance hallway. Entrance hall sets a really nice first impression of the property. You've got laminate flooring and we are neutrally decorated. There's the original picture rail and then we've got stairs with original open balustrade leading to the first floor. The door to the right here takes us into the lounge, which is a nice size space characterized by the electric fire set to a fireplace with tiled hearth and back panel. And we've got this box bay window overlooking the front elevation, as well as two wall light points. There's also a dado rail. Coming through into the kitchen, you can see we've got an extended kitchen, which has been refitted with a modern range of white gloss finish base and LV units. We've got gray subway style tiling to the walls to the worktop areas and we've got plenty of food preparation space with these marble effect work surfaces and we've got an integrated oven hob and extractor stainless steel sink and drain unit set beneath the window which overlooks and gives us our first glimpse of the rear garden got provision employment for a washing machine and space for a fridge freezer here um, there's also plenty of storage cupboards as you can see spotlights to the ceiling this cupboard here houses the combination gas central heating boiler and we've got a part opaque glazed panel door leading to the side elevation. From the kitchen an archway leads through to the dining room which has the flooring running through from the hall and kitchen. Dining room is characterised by the open chimney breast and the French doors which lead to the rear garden which we'll come and have a look at later. Coming back into the hall we've got a panel door here which leads to a ground floor WC with wash basin and full height tie into the walls. The uh, window um, obviously goes into the lean-to and we've got the flooring running through as well. We'll go and have a look upstairs. There's a half landing towards the top of the stairs with a window to the uh, left-hand elevation. And then to the landing, we've got a balustrade return and doors to all three bedrooms and the bathroom. Bedroom one is to the front elevation, nice size double this, as you can see here. Picture rail again and window overlooking the front. You can see the Hayward Road car park there. Bedroom three set adjacent, being a decent size single. Again, window to the front. And bedroom two has laminate flooring, picture rail, period style fireplace sets the chimney rest. Nice big picture window overlooking the rear garden. And then we have mirrored doors to the chimney rest recess, providing access to a wardrobe with a small storage cupboard above. Bathroom has been weatherboarded to all elevations. And there's vinyl towel finished flooring. We've got a four piece suite. You've got a bath. Wash basin set to a vanity unit with storage covers beneath. Got a shower cubicle with mains pressure shower. It's um, slightly misleading because you have this mirrored panel, which obviously is good for modesty. And then there's a WC adjacent. Let's go and have a look at the garden. As you come out of the French doors, you have a small paved patio area here which extends to a further patio area where there's a shed and there's also low level wide fencing which leads through a pergola to a central pathway where the main garden area is set to either side with two lawned areas with a variety of plants and shrubs set to borders and timber fencing separating both side elevations there's also a, an established fruit tree to the rear from here you can get a good idea of the extension as well. So popular location, really, really close to Maple's amenities, refurbished inside, perfect for a number of marketplaces, will be popular.